stage. Percentage is a fraction. It's just another way of expressing a fraction. Percentage is a fraction, so it's another way of expressing a fraction. For instance, if I say 40%, this is a fraction. So what exactly does the word percent mean? The word percent technically means for every hundred. The word percent means for every hundred. Meaning that if I say 40%, I am technically saying 40 over 100. I need this idea to lock in at this level like this. Because sometimes some of the things we want to memorize are things that should flow in us like water or like blood, as it were. 40% means 40... 40% 40 means 40 over 100. 40 of every 100. 40 of every 100. So, you discover that when you reduce to the lowest step, you'll get, you get this as well, 2 over 5. That's why sometimes in the exam, they'll tell you, convert to fraction, 25%. 25% means 25 over 100, or 25 for every. The word pa there is every cent, 100. So, 100% means... 100 for every 100. So once you get, when you score 80% in an exam, what it means is that you have scored 80 for every 100 or for the total mark given to that exam. So anytime you hear percentage, it, the reference point is over 100. How that is understood? Brilliant. I don't know if you saw that you can tell me to answer. You said that it's over 100. You cancel out 5 year 1, 5 year 20. Remember that you are told to reduce to the lowest 10. So this will be 1 over 20. 50 over 100. Oh, 1 over 2. Next one is 25 over 100. Five go year ten, five go year twenty, five year four, five year one. That's one over four. Seven over ten. This will be equal to four over hundred. Four year one, four year twenty five. Five years seven, five years twenty. So we come to this part twelve over hundred, four here three, four here will be twenty five, so that will be three over twenty five, eighty over hundred. Zero will cancel zero. Eight go uh, four two go here four two go here five. That's four over five. So the five over hundred. Five go here fifteen. Five go here twenty. Five go here again four. Five go here again three. That's three over four. 24 over 100, 4 go here 6, 4 go here 25, that's 6 over 25, 65 over 100, 
5 into here will give me 13. 5 into here will give me 20. That will be 13 over 20. 64 over 100. 4 go here, 16. 4 go here, 25. That will give me 16 over 25. 60 over 100. 0 will cancel 0. 3 go here. Sorry, 2 go here, 3. 2 go here, 5. And that will be 3 over 5. Excuse me. 45 over 100. 5 go here, 9. 5 into this one, 20. And that will be 9 over 20. 84 over 100. 4. Divide this. 2, 1 over 4. Divide this. 2. Carry of 2. And that will give me 25. So the answer is because 21 over 25. You discover that to solve all of these problems, your early knowledge of simple addition, subtraction, division, those things you learned in primary school will be very, very important here. And so that's the whole of the exercise we have just solved. Let's have your cameras on, please. So let's go to exercise 4L. In exercise 4L, we are required to convert fractions to percentage. So fractions to percentage. So fraction to percentages. Now, I'll just use number one as an example. Look at it like number one. It said half. When you're converting to percentage, you multiply by a hundred. So to each of the fractions, you multiply by hundred over one. And then, and this one becomes what? 50%. Exactly. Number two. It says what? One quarter. To be times what? 100 over one. You divide before one, divide before 25, and that will be what? 25%. Are you seeing that? So let's use this technique and let's finish the exercises there. From question three to question 16. Let's start. You can, um, so question three, one over three times 100 over one, we equal to 100 over 3, which even is equal to 33 by third percent. Number 4. Number 4 times 100. We equal to 75%. Number 5. 1 over 5 times 100 over 1. Number 6. Number 6. 1 over 4 times 100 over 1, which will give you 10%. Number 10. He said, so I'll go to the other part of the board and try to finish it up. Okay, so is one about 20 times 100 over one. Zero will cancel zero. Two here, five. Two here, one. And that will be five. He said, number eight. 1 over 25 
times 100 over 1, 5 year 5, 5 year 20, 5 year 1, 5 year 4. That will give me 4 percent. Number 9, 3 over 10 times 100 over 1. That will give me 30 percent. 3 times 10 will give you 30 percent. Number 10. 3 over 5 times 100 over 1. 3 year 1, 3 year 20. That will be 3 times 20, and that is 60 percent. Number 11. 2 over 2 times 100 over 1. 5 years. 5 years. 20. That will be 2 times 20 divided by 3. That's 40 over 3, which is 13, 1 over 3. 3 can go into 40, 13 times, and you are left with 1 over 3. Seventeen over twenty times hundred over one. Seventeen times five, which will give you eighty five percent. Number 13. So 13. 5 over 8 times 100 over 1. 4 here, 2. 4 here, 25. This will give me 125 divided by 2, which will give me 62 and a half percent. That's for question 13. So let's go to question 14, 15, and 16. Question 14. 1 over 6 times 100 over 1. 2 go here, 3. 2 go here, 50. That will be 50 over 3. How many trees can we get from here? 3 into 5 is 1. 3 of 2 into 20 is 6. Remainder 2 over 3. Question 15. 9 over 25 times 100 over 1. 5 go here, 5. 5 go year 20, 5 go year 1, 5 go year 4, that will be 36%. percent And number 16, 7, 76 over 300 times 100 over 1. Now, here you just cancel the zero straight. I will be left with 76 over 3. So 3 divide 7. Will give me two remainder one. That one will come to the second digit and become 16. Three into 16 will give me five remainder one. Five times three is 15. 15 from 16 is one. That will be one over what three percent. So with that, we are played with exercise 4L. Yeah. We are gradually moving into what problem? We are gradually moving. We are gradually moving into what? Word problem. Expressing what quantity as a fraction of another. Now, if you look at exercise, exercise 4M, exercise 4M. The first question you have there is, what fraction of one minute is 15 seconds? What fraction of one minute is 15 seconds? Now, number one, what fraction 
of one minute is what? 15 seconds. Another way to phrase this question is, what is 15 seconds in one minute? So what they are telling you to do now is this. 15 seconds over one minute. But to do this, the units must be the same. The units must be the same. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So when you have one minute, you now put 60 seconds. So that will be 15 over what? 60. And at this point, you can divide. 3 go here, 5. 3 go here, 20. 5 go here, 1. 5 go here, 4. So that will be 1 over 4. So what fraction of one minute is 50 seconds? It's 1 over 4. Maybe to better clear that one, let's solve another one, question 2, because this is where your assignment would rest. Look at question 2. Express 25 cm as a fraction of 3 minutes. Express 25 cm as a fraction of 3 of three meters, sorry, of three meters. Now, it means what they are telling you to do is to say 25 cm over three meters. What is a meter? What then is a meter? One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So three meters will be equal to three times 100, which will be equal to 300 centimeters. So therefore, the fraction will now be what? 25 over 300. It is at this point you now reduce. 5 go here 5, 5 go here 60, 5 go here 1, and 5 go here 12. So that will be 1 over 12. So 25 cm as a fraction of 3 meters will be what? 1 over 12. Is that clear? Is that clear? All right, so this is where we're going to end our class today.